Good day everyone, I'm Samana Taimuri working on a gold project at the Department of Chemical and Metallurgical Engineering in West University. As you might know, there is a shift in mining industry towards remining of the many existing mine heaps or tailings. This is because there is still some gold locked in host mineral like pyrite and arsenic pyrite in tailings material which can now be extracted economically with new methods and technology. So one of the latest way to do this is using diplutitic solvent in which the host mineral like pyrite is electrochemically oxidized or dissolved in a DES medium. That's why I'm interested and engage in this research. So what is DES? DES is a combination of two components. One act as a hydrogen bond acceptor and the other act as hydrogen bond donor. After mixing these two components together, they develop a hydrogen bond network and they meet each other at a eutectic point, which has a lower melting point than both individual components. So the specific DES used in this work is a combination of choline chloride and ethylene glycol in a molar ratio of 1 to 2. So in this DES, there are two ligands, chloride and ethylene glycol, which can act as a chelating ligand um, for iron and make complex with iron. To determine whether chloride or ethylene glycol will form the most stable complex with iron 2 and iron 3, density functional theory calculation will run and high performance computing to answer this question. On the right hand side, you can see the structure of choline chloride and ethylene glycol, which make the DES for this fork. Below is pyrite, which can be dissolved to Fe2 or Fe3 in a DES medium, and also the complexes with chloride and also with um, ethylene glycol. So, Overall, there are eight complexes to be considered. Here is the HOMO and LOMO uh, for iron 2 and iron 3 with uh, ethylene glycol as a do as O donor ligand. On the left hand side, we see the uh, iron uh, complex with two ethylene glycol, uh, like a tetrahedral form, and the right hand side is iron with three ethylene glycol, uh, like a like an octahedral complex. And here is the homo and lomo for iron two and iron three complexed with chloride. When there are four com four four chloride, uh, it's a tetrahedral form, and when it's six chloride, it's a uh, octahedral form of complex. After calculating the uh, homo-lomo gap between these complexes and also the Gibbs free energy, it was revealed that uh, all of these eight complexes has negative Gibbs free energy. But by comparing these complexes more precisely, it was shows that uh, the combination between iron 3 with 2 ethylene glycol as O donor complex it has the largest gap between HOMO and LOMO, which make the complex more stable, and it has the most negative Gibbs free energy, which is minus 71.35, which make this complex more likely to happen. All of the calculations were performed using Gaussian 16 B3 LYP functional in gas phase. Thank you all. And if you wanted to contact me about this work, here is my contact detail.